Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel Ratliff and today's video is going to be a little different than my normal videos. So my normal videos are focused on real estate. I'm normally showing you houses here in Central Florida or I'm taking you along with me on fun things to do here in Central Florida. But today's video is Disney related but not in the way that I would like it to be. So along with real estate, I also had another job which was being a third party tour guide for Disney. Now, this is something I've been doing for almost two years now, not quite, but it has been one of my favorite jobs I've ever had in my life, the most unique job ever, and also my main source of income for the last two years. So third party tour guides have been running for almost three decades now. The first one started back in the 90s, and I don't even know the count of how many third party companies there are that operate now. Now, I am not a company owner, but I did work for a company and there are many guides that are being affected right now. So starting back on October 2nd of 2023, so just last month, Disney decided to start cracking down on third-party guides and start banning them. So unfortunately, a few weeks ago, I was one of the guides that received a indefinite ban. It can be appealed after a year, but for right now, it's pretty much indefinite. So how this ban all started, um, I was with another guide at the time, we were going to be doing a tour together and we were not even scanned into the park yet and a woman came up to us and had us both by our first names and pulled us aside and then the Orange County police came out and wrote us up. For I did not get any more of a reason of why I got banned, I kept asking and they kept telling me you cannot own or operate a business and that was the only reason that I got. Um, Again, third parties have been around for nearly three decades now, so many of us have believed that they are allowed, they're not illegal, um, and didn't think we were doing anything wrong. Um, if anything, I truly believed I was doing Disney a service with the job I did. Um, so what do third party guides do? So I can't speak for all companies, but most companies out there are honest and good. Um, and we're truly there to give guests a magical experience at the end of the day, that is our main goal. So for third party companies, uh, most of them typically range between $150 an hour to $300 an hour. Um, and with the Disney tour guides, they range from $450 an hour to $950 an hour with a seven hour minimum. So as you can tell, I see Disney guides in the park all the time. This is a great service if you wanna be guaranteed every single ride and you can afford it. But again, the cost of that is extremely high and not everyone can afford that. Um, but that is the argument that Disney was giving me was because they have their own guides. Yet they have allowed this to go on for almost 30 years. So there's guides that have built careers, families, companies, um, you name it, around this job. And again, we believed that we were doing something good for Disney. Those of you that don't know me, I grew up with Disney. I took a vacation. I lived in Ohio and vacationed to Disney about every three to five years with my family. My very first vacation, I was five years old and it was the most magical experience I've ever had. Um, at Magic Kingdom, I was waiting for the night parade, which they don't even have here in Walt Disney World right now. Um, but we went back to the hotel after our long, hot morning, took a nap. I probably swam at the pool and then I came back and I was dressed up as Snow White and I had short hair at the time and my hair was a lot more black. So Snow White was one of my favorites and they were going through the crowd and I got picked um, out of the, all the people in the crowd to turn off the lights for the parade. So I have a picture of that. I got a Snow White Barbie doll and a certificate and it was the most magical experience ever. And that began my love for Disney. And ever since I started this job a couple years ago, um, I've been creating that magic as best as possible. Um, Disney, nowadays, if you haven't been to the park, can be stressful. Crowds are very high. The Genie Plus system is very complicated. There are a lot of rules with it. So that's where the third parties come in and they're a much needed service. Um, and we bring a lot of value to families that wouldn't spend money or couldn't afford a Disney VIP guide because we're creating stress-free magical experiences for them um, versus if they did it on their own they probably wouldn't come back to the parks because um, it can be stressful but we're taking all the stress off of them they don't have to be on their phones we're booking them all the rides 
We are following the rules to the Genie Plus system, but because we're there in the park so much, we know how to maximize those rides and what to book and when to book it. Um, but we're also kind of a babysitter sometimes. So if there's a siblings that want to go on a ride and the kid, one kid is too small to ride it, if they feel comfortable with us, we sit out with the ride and keep the kid entertained so they don't have to set up all the parent swap for the rides. Um, I'm pushing the strollers, we're carrying bags, we're navigating them through the crowd so they don't have to figure out where they're going to next. So as you can see, that's how I thought I was doing Disney a service. A lot of our companies are booking dining reservations too, so we're recommending the best places to eat. Most of our families are staying at a Disney resort because we want that early entry, so we're pushing for them to stay at a Disney resort so they can get that. Um, so we're encouraging them to spend money on Disney um, things. But for some reason, Disney has just started banning the third party guides. Um, none of us can figure out the reason. reasoning. This has affected well over 100 guides at this point. So right before the holidays, we're out of income that we kind of expected to have. And all of us guides are only asking for a chance to get in front of someone at Disney and be able to give our side of it and have a seat at the table to talk to someone. So not only can I not go to Disney to do my job anymore, but when my family comes to visit, I can't go to the parks with them. Uh, I can't go to Disney Springs, which I did about every other weekend. Um, if you look at my channel, you'll see that there's a lot of Disney vlogs on there. It's just truly something I enjoy doing. Even when I was off, I lived 20 minutes from the park and Disney has been my entire life. Now, I'm not making this video to get any sympathy at all. It's just emotional to talk about for me. But my main goal for this video is just for someone high up at Disney to see it. Um, again, all of us guides are just asking for a chance to be able to speak. So when we got trespassed, we only received one source of contact, which is the address to the security of or the director of security. And so I did send in a letter to that. A lot of other guides did too. So I wrote a very heartfelt letter to them. Um, and I know a lot of other guides did too. So in my letter that I have here, I wrote, to whom it may concern, I am writing this letter in hopes it will be read and get noticed. I just received a one year ban from all Disney property for being a third party tour guide. I truly wasn't aware that third party guides are illegal. I'm originally from Ohio. I grew up taking Disney trips with my family every three to five years. I moved down here for the weather and to be close to Disney. I have lived here for over four years now and have been an annual pass holder pretty much since I moved. I have a family that comes to visit. I have family that comes to visit and I go to the parks with them often. I truly thought I was doing Disney service and for them to approach me in the park with, with absolutely no warning has crushed me. As a third party guide, I follow all the Disney rules. I purchased Genie Plus for my families. Our company is not only suggesting but promoting dining reservations and staying on property to guests. I have many families that I have created Disney level magic experiences for and this is why I was blindsided with getting this ban. Third party companies are bringing Disney a lot of money and creating experiences for families that wouldn't even think about hiring a Disney guide because they can't afford it. But instead of these families trying to do it on their own, they hire us and they want to come back every year after and tell their friends because they had so much fun. I have even had families canceled because they got off the waiting list for Disney, which tells me Disney isn't even able to accommodate for the amount of people wanting tours. I could go on and on about the good that third party companies do for Disney, and I am just hopeful that something can be worked out. This ban is ruining many families' holiday vacations that they plan for months or even years. I know some of those families are going to cancel their whole trip, and some families will try to navigate on their own, which may leave them feeling overwhelmed. Just last week, I had a family for three days. It was a couple with two kids. Our day at Magic Kingdom was a big day full of lots of fun, but unfortunately, the little girl kept having meltdowns. It was a mix of the sun, crowd, and lots of new experiences getting to her. I was able to figure out how to salvage the evening by taking them into a nice relaxing show with AC. Before the show, the mother was ready to cancel all of their evening plans. They had Bibbidi Boppity Boutique booked, Cinderella's Royal Table and the Dessert Fireworks Package all booked, texting their travel agent ready to cancel it all. After the show and helping me entertain the kids, everyone felt refreshed again and they were ready to attempt pushing through. We went and got a spot for the three o'clock parade, which was the only parade that day. The little girl loved princesses and Belle was one of her favorites. Right before the parade started, the little girl decided she really had to go to the restroom. I took her to the restroom and knew we were cutting it close for the parade. 
While we were walking back, I offered to pick her up and hustle back, and we just made it in time to see Belle and Beast. By the end of the trip, the kids were holding my hand and holding back tears as they were leaving me at Disney. This is just one of many magical stories I have, and I know that I have many families that would gladly write in and tell why third parties are a positive. My main reason for writing this letter is in hopes to get my ban from Disney removed. If third party guides are truly gone forever, then you can trust I will never operate as one again. I live very close to Disney and I go to Disney Springs to eat and shop very often with my parents. I also like to do fun Disney vlogs. Ever since COVID has slowed down, my brothers and four-year-old nephew have been coming down annually to go to the parks. My cousins have also been coming down annually and have kids who are five and three. It absolutely crushes me that I won't be able to spend time in the parks with my family, who I only see once a year the next time they come to visit. Again, I didn't realize I was doing something that could cost me so much. I feel it is unfair to do this to people with no warning. Most companies have websites and we all have individual emails as well and a warning could have easily been sent to let us know we were doing something wrong and that there'd be consequences if we choose to keep operating, but no warning was given. Instead, I was approached by a Disney worker and taken, taken to the side where a police officer then came out. It was done right beside guest experience at Magic Kingdom where many people walked by, so it made me feel like a criminal and was very embarrassing. I grew up loving Disney and I know I have a good heart and my intentions have always been pure. At the end of the day, I hope you will please consider lifting my ban. I do also hope something can be worked out with third party companies. I don't know if all companies play by the rules or follow Disney rules and I'm sorry if those companies have given third parties a bad rep. However, I know the company I'm with currently and many other companies follow all guidelines and are just here to create better experiences with guests. Whether it be companies using tickets instead of annual passes, paying some kind of licensing or third party fee or whatever it may be, I just hope you will hear me out and the many other people who are now out jobs before the holidays. I'm still a Disney lover and I hope to be given a chance to be heard. So that is the letter I sent in to the only address that I was given to contact. And just a few days ago, they returned, um, they returned it with this letter right here. Um, and unfortunately, the other guides that wrote in have been getting the same exact letter. So it says, Dear Miss Ratliff, thank you for your letter requesting that we lift the trespass warning against you. We review your request and the information concerning the conduct that resulted in a trespass being issued against you. Regrettably, we would decline to lift the trespass at this time. Feel free to resubmit a trespass lift request for a review one year from the state of letter. So I'm not sure if my letter was even read. I'm not sure if any of the other guides were read either, but that's why I'm making this video. All of those guides are just asking for a chance to be heard. There's many families that use third party guides that are asking for that same chance for us as well. Um, I can't tell you the level of emotion that I've been going through being banned from the happiest place on earth. Um, and the unfortunate part, which I did kind of mention in my letter, but for those that are confused, we did not even receive a cease and desist letter first. Um, and we're confused on this because there was a couple that was on Disney property um, in the parks selling merchandise like ears and stuff that they've made. Um, and they were selling these in the park and they received a cease and desist order and then continued to operate before getting banned. Um, and they even had the Disney Walt Disney address on their company site. So we're just confused why we didn't get any kind of warning. So we were receiving the same treatment as someone that would be breaking out into a fist fight in the park or causing drunken disorderly or something like that. And for the reasoning of us offering a service on Disney property, Again, um, this has been going on for almost three decades, so we truly didn't think it was illegal. Um, it's been going on, again, people have built lives, families, careers around doing this. And there are many other non-Disney owned companies that also provide services. So the mini lifts um, are offered for people staying at the resort, but yet Disney allows Uber and regular Lyft to pick up people at resorts. Um, there's so many third party sites that are selling their own Disney made merchandise. There's vloggers making lots of money off of Disney. Um, there's even third party news articles that report Disney in there. That's their full time job. They're there daily doing that. There's travel agents that are um, booking Disney trips, even though Disney has their own travel agents.
there's the Disney resellers that go in and buy up merchandise and then are reselling it at, with a fee or a higher price. Um, I could go on and on and my point is not to get those people in trouble. Um, there's, I don't want anyone else to go through this. I would not wish this on my worst enemy in the world. But my point is, why are third party guides being targeted? Um, we're just confused and asking for answers. There's a lot of people that make money off of Disney. Um, and if it's not allowed, okay, but we would definitely like a reason um, and just a conversation. Because again, we are out jobs right before the holidays and it has caused a lot of financial insecurity on us to say that at very least. And if you have any more questions about what third party guides do or any more questions on the situation, I would be happy to answer them. Again, the whole point behind this video is just for it to reach somebody at Disney to give us an opportunity to speak. We are not angry with you, Disney, but we would, we're just confused and sad and looking for answers. That's all for now. And if you want to help by giving this video a thumbs up or sharing it with your friends and family to help it reach more people, I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.